Hi, I'm Jacob Hornberger, President of the Future of Freedom Foundation. The most striking part of the economic platform of Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders is their plan to tax the rich. That's their answer to the out-of-control federal spending and debt that afflicts the federal government for the welfare state, the warfare state, the drug war, and all the rest. It's really an appeal to the great sins of envy and covetousness, the sense that if that person just has his money taken away from him, everyone will be better off. But actually, everyone's worse off. Look at Cuba and North Korea, where people are all equal in the sense that they're equally poor, except for the public officials, of course. But that's how they got the income tax in the first place, by appealing to envy and covetousness. They, they told people, oh, look, it's only going to be on the, a tax on the rich. Don't worry. <laughs> and of course, today, it's not the rich who are suffering. It's the middle class and the poor. Actually, the rich perform very valuable functions in society. For one, they bring into existence the capital through savings that makes people more productive. Two, they bring into existence expensive goods and services that over time become reasonably priced goods and services for the middle class and the poor. And finally, they provide the charity, the donations, that build and sustain the churches and museums and scholarships for universities, soup kitchens, and the like. For the society that enshrines envy and covetousness into their political system, there's always going to be a bad result from this. But for the society that enshrines the principles of liberty and morality into its political system, that will be the society that experiences peace, prosperity, and harmony.